Hi. Um, okay, I just, just, just made a video about stuff and how you need to use it and how just to go with flow, basically. Um, but I guess I wanted to go in deep and I want to, I want to go in deeper detail about stuff. The outside world, according to the inside world, um, Your stuff is an extension of you. That includes your things. It's your stuff that you use, your physical things, your blanket, your towel, your anything. That also goes down to your animals. Because they are your stuff. Even though they're their own beings equal to you. They're yours. Kind of the same thing with your children, but that's a whole. Deepened understanding from your. Pet. Animals perspective. Bless me that. Every thing is levels and whatnot, but. Because deepening and whatnot. But, um, like I said, if you have a workout machine and you don't use it because you can block yourself, you can make yourself not be able to have flowing energy where you feel you have aches and all this, and you can stretch, you can eat right, you can do all that stuff, but that does assist you to not have that stuff that is like that affect you. But it's going to be a lot more challenging to actually getting it to where it is not like that, to where it's flowing. Because the stuff, the more stuff that you have, the heavier the weight on your shoulders basically, basically is going to be. Um, so like that workout machine, if it is like you're not using it. You're going to be, like, whatever, especially if it has a color, or especially if it's, like, um, like a bike that you bike on, um, your legs are going to get affected, and it, and let's say if it's, a, it's an orange, um, color, your solar plexus, or, apologies, not your solar plexus, your, uh, I really don't recall the name of it right now, but it's below your solar plexus, above your um, base chakra. Um, it goes red, orange, yellow. So you're going to kind of feel something there too. Um, but if you use it every once in a while, you're not going to do that. Um, the more stuff that you have, the more the, of the characteristic of you getting stressed out because you got to make sure that stuff is peak condition. Or you got to get more space for the stuff because you don't get rid of it. <laughs> but have a rule. Have Go by this rule. Go by this idea. Um, not to limit yourself, but to give yourself an option. Because what you give out is what you get. Give and take. So you giving stuff away, the universe is always going to give to you, basically. Because if you... Live your life through kindness, not harming anybody, going in against anybody else's free will. How can you go wrong? Um, so by you going off of the, the option to live your life, to express yourself, to expand yourself, of what it means to be a bringer of life, I mean, have that gift, is... Like, at least every year, give or take around there, go through your stuff and see if you use it or you don't use it. Then give it away. I have done it where I just got stuff and then I, was like, I went back through my stuff. And I was like, oh, I don't recall seeing that or having that until now. You know, that you have too much stuff and you need to give it away. Or it's preferable if you give it away. But... Um,
once you do give it away, oh, that's what I was going to say. If it's like Christmas time, instead of going out and buying something, it's always the thought that counts in everything. But people usually take it more in the holidays kind of thing, or as a gift kind of thing. But, um, or start thinking about it more in that way at that moment of existence of coming together. Um, that give it to somebody because if you don't use it, instead of having to go out and spend more money on something, go and do it. Give it to them. Like if it's your like if you have po like Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and you have a nephew or a niece or like a younger like younger person, give it to them. They're gonna have a blast. You don't know if that makes that is their gift. Like that is the gift that they are gonna recall from that moment. Cause there's this quote. One day you're just gonna be a memory for the one that holds holds it. Um so make the best you can of your memories. Assist them with those memories, you know. It I assure you that you're going to like have an immense joy and pleasure. Especially when like if it is Christmas and it's an intensified energy kind of thing, the anticipation which just builds up the energy. Um to actually if you do it for a lot of people, you would really feel it. Or just giving a lot of stuff away, you'll feel it in general. Um, but after you give your stuff away, take notice from the moment of saying, um, this is what I'm going to get rid of, to actually giving it away. How much lighter you feel, how much more movement you can do. Because um, you have more space. It's kind of the same thing of like rearranging your furniture because you can block yourself from getting energy depending on how the room is. Um, that's really the major factor of it or one of them. But your animal, your equal, furry companion, um, if they are their own being, but if they're going through like like, they're, they're really sad, or they're really happy, or whatnot. Um, it's an indication to you that that's how you're feeling. Um, that going off the basis that everything is one, um, that this universe is a three... 60 degree mirror of what's going on in the inside of the outside. Um, so as really anything you can take that from. But since it's your animal and they move and interact with you, you can definitely give a keen sense of what's going on. More than a person saying this and this and this um because it's still part of your stuff <laughs> um because it's really cool to go ahead and see uh, the whole like if you start using a word and then other people start using that word seeing how that kind of transitions because you've been around them a lot and they use like a lower level of it not a different leveling of that word so like Instead of using attempt, use try. Um, and you know they use try instead of a, a attempt. Um, that they start saying and expressing attempt more. That it's an indicator of what's that your world is changing. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much what I have on that one. Um, may all your desires come true. 
Well, they will, if you believe and you take into consideration of what it is that your desire is. So that's good. Okay. Oh, 